I am R P Rao from Kendra Vidyalaya Army Area P G T Mass. Now I am going to deal with the rate of change of quantities under the heading application of the derivatives. We are dealing with the differential calculus, and rate of the change of the quantities means the change with respect to time. How two quantities are changing with respect to time? When we can establish a functional relationship between uh, to uh, dependent variable and independent variable the rate of change of the independent variable contribute to the change in the dependent variable so let's deal with one of the problems in a pool of time pool of uh, in a pond if a stone is dropped the ripple start emanating till they strike the bank this is a common observation with all of the us so a problem is there when ripples are moving at a rate of 5 cm per second is given the ripple start moving at the rate of 5 cm per second now you are asked how much what is the rate of increase of the area when the distance is 8 cm so here you are given dr by dt that is equal to 5 cm per second this is the speed speed with which the ripples are emanating now we will deal with a question this is question number 5 of your ncert book a stone is dropped into a quiet lake and waves move in circles at the speed of 5 cm per second you are asked to find out what is the rate in which the area is enclosing how fast means the rate of enclose of area so in this case there are the two variables are here one is radius because radius is changing when the circles are moving in circles the radius r radius is changing so the rate of change of radius is given to be dr by dt which is equal to 5 cm per second and this rate is also positive now area area of the circle is given by a is equal to pi r square you are asked to find out the rate of change of area when radius is 8 cm this is asked to you so a is equal to pi r square now differentiating both sides with respect to t differentiating both sides with respect to t we get da by dt and pi and we are differentiating this with respect to t so here the variable r square when it is differentiated with respect to t you can use the concept of the implicit differentiation so this is equal to 2 this is pi and with respect to r r square and dr by dt which is equal to 2 pi r dr upon dt so this gives how fast the area is enclosing so da by dt is given by 2 pi r into dr by dt so you are asked to find out da by dt when r is equal to 8 cm so this is given by 2 pi into 8 and dr by dt is given 5 so this is 80 pi cm square per second da by dt when r is equal to 8 cm so this is given by 2 pi into 8 already we have radius is equal to 8 and 5 cm per second so when we multiply this is 80 pi cm square per second this is the answer a balloon which always remains spherical on inflation is being inflated by pumping in 900 cm cube of gas per second find the rate at which the radius of the balloon increases when the radius is 15 cm now 
in this question you are given the rate of rate at which the volume being in, uh, inflated the balloon is inflated that is 900 cm cube per second so in this question dv upon dt is given to be 900 cm cube per second and you are asked to find out rate at which the radius of the balloon increases dr upon dt when the radius is 15 cm this is asked to you in this question first of all we have to establish the relationship between these two variables volume and radius as you know the volume of a sphere is given by 4 by 3 pi r cube so v is equal to 4 by 3 pi r cube now differentiating both sides with respect to t so dv upon dt is equal to 4 by 3 pi and we will differentiate r cube with respect to t so this is nothing but 4 by 3 pi and first you need to differentiate with respect to r then d into dr by dt as per the rules of impl implicit differentiation so which is equal to 4 by 3 pi and 3 r square so into dr by dt so this is equal to 4 pi r square into dr upon dt now dv by dt already you have given this is 900 centimeter cube per second and this is 4 pi r square dr upon dt so dr upon dt is equal to 900 by 4 pi r square now dr upon dt when r is equal to 15 centimeter this is equal to 900 by 4 pi into 15 square which is equal to 900 4 pi into 225 is equal to 225 into 4 is 900 so the, this is 1 by pi and radius its unit is to be written this will be centimeter per second this is the answer now we will deal with the question number 11 of exercise 6.1 of ncrt book a particle moves along the curve 6y is equal to x cube plus 2 the curve whose equation is given by 6y is equal to x cube plus 2 when the particle moves on the curve at every point the x coordinate as well as the y coordinates changes so you are given in this case the y coordinate is changing eight times as fast as x coordinate so when you say when it is said that as fast as means it is the rate of change that means you are given dy upon dt is equal to eight times dx upon dt we are asked to find out the points on the curve so 6y is equal to x cube plus 2 when we differentiate both sides with respect to t we get 6 dy by dt is equal to 3x square dx by dt and it is already given dy by dt is 8 times of dx by dt so we can replace the value of dy by dt by 8 into dx by dt 3x square dx upon dt now we can cancel dx by dt on both sides so 3x square is equal to 48 x square is equal to 48 over 3 which is equal to 16 and x is equal to plus minus 4 since here you are asked to find the points we have to find the y coordinate also so when x is equal to 4 the y is given by 
x cube plus 2 by 6 and we have to substitute the value of 4, 4 cube plus 2 divided by 6 which is equal to 64 plus 2 by 6 which is equal to 66 by 6 which is equal to 11. So, one of the points is 4 and 11. Next, we will find out the next point when x is equal to minus 4. When x is equal to minus 4, the y is given by minus 4 whole cube plus 2 divided by 6 that is minus 64 by 64 plus 2 by 6 that is equal to minus 62 by 6. When we cancel by 2, this is 3, 3. So, the point is minus 4 and minus 31 by 3. The two points are given by 4 and 11 and minus 4 and minus 31 by 3, where the y coordinate is changing 8 times as fast as the x coordinates. Hereafter, we will deal with the another question. We are going to deal with the question number 14 of NCRT book. Sand is pouring from a pipe at the rate of 12 centimeter cube per second. The falling sand forms a cone on the ground in such a way that the height of the cone is always one sixth of the radius of the base. So, from this pipe, sand is falling and it forms a conical pile. In such a manner, the height is always one sixth of the radius. So, h is always equal to one sixth of the radius of the base and the rate at which the sand is emerging out of the pipe is given by dv over dt 12 centimeter cube per second. Now, the logic is the amount of sand emerging out of the pipe is the same as the amount of sand forming the cone. That means, the volume of the sand emerging from the pipe is equal to volume of the cone. So, volume of the cone as you know given by the formula 1 by 3 pi r square h. Now, when you see in this question, you are asked to find how fast is the height of the sand cone is increasing. That means, you are asked to find dh over dt when h is equal to 4 centimeter. In this case, it is always better to express the volume in terms of a single convenient variable. In this case, you are asked to find out dh by dt. So, is it possible to express r and h in terms of single variable? We can express by the help of the given relation h is equal to 1 by 6 r. So, r is equal to 6 h. So, we can write v is equal to 1 by 3 pi and in place of this r, we can write 6 h whole square h which is equal to 1 by 3 pi 36 h cube. Now, we will differentiate v with respect to t. How fast means it is always with respect to time. So, therefore, we need to differentiate with respect to t. So, if possible, okay, here we will simplify. So, h cube its derivative with respect to t is first its derivative with respect to h and d h by d t. This is by the implicit differentiation 36 pi h square d h by d t. Right. So, d h over d t is equal to in place uh, this is a dv by dt divided by 36 pi h square. So, dv by dt, one, this is 1 by 36 pi h square and dv by dt is 12. So, this is equal to 
1 by 3 pi h square. But you are asked to find out dh by dt at the instant when h is equal to 4 centimeter. So, dh by dt when h is equal to 4, this is equal to 1 by 3 pi into 4 square. This is equal to 1 by 48 pi centimeter per second because the unit of height is in centimeter and so the answer is 1 by 48 pi centimeter per second. This is question number 13 of exercise 6.1 of NCRT book. A balloon which always remains spherical has a variable diameter 3 by 2 into 2x plus 1. Find the rate of change of its volume with respect to x. So, the diameter is given by 2r is equal to 3 by 2 into 2x plus 1. So, radius is equal to 3 by 4 into 2x plus 1. And the volume and radius are related by the relation 4 by 3, v is equal to 4 by 3 pi r cube that is equal to 4 by 3 pi into 3 by 4 2x plus 1 whole whole cube which is equal to 4 by 3 pi this is 27 and 64 into 2x plus 1 whole cube. You are asked to find out rate of change of its volume with respect to x. Here you are not asked to find with respect to time. So, we can differentiate v with respect to x which is equal to you can cancel. So, this is 9 pi by 16 and we can differentiate 2 x plus 1 whole cube with respect to x. You can use the chain rule 9 pi by 16 into 3 into 2 x plus 1 square into derivative of 2 x plus 1 that is equal to 2. So, this is 27 pi by 8 into 2 x plus 1 square. This is volume with respect to the radius means this will be centimeter square. The volume, the rate of change of volume with respect to x is given by 27 pi by 8 into 2 x plus 1 square centimeter square.